curious about maybe some of the challenges you're going to face this season with the roster being thin and, and having to deal with nine scholarship guys. Well, you know, we we're obviously uh, have some some size issues and we have some strength issues uh, because we do have some of the young players. Um, and then obviously in the backcourt uh, with Nikki and Jay and, and Walter, um, I do think a guy like Adam Allen can play back there um, you know, down the road. But, you know, I think this is kind of the hand we're dealt with. We're going to go out there and try to do the best we can. I think when you lose five players to the NBA and other ones, Lee Humphrey, who's as good of a player as he's been, you know, it's tough to, to, to recuperate in a one-year period and expect the team to be as good as it was when you lose um, three guys in a lottery and two guys in the second round. So we're I'm excited about this team and excited about you know trying to rebuild uh, so to speak. But I think that these guys are gonna work hard and they're gonna get after it. They're gonna they're gonna I think be committed to trying to play together and play unselfishly and play to win. It seems like a lot of your freshmen are, are pretty versatile. They can play multiple Nick can play multiple positions together. Yeah, how much is that could that potentially help down the road? Well you know I think it you know it can if I think you know if you if you if you take a guy like Chandler and you move him from the from the small forward to the power forward, you know you're, you're dealing with a size issue, physical, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he's a young kid, um, you know, Dan and Jonathan, you know, those guys, Maurice being a year older, have got to step up and show, I think, great improvement, uh, but they also have had limited amount of playing time themselves, so, uh, you know, there's some definite holes that we're going to have to fill in um, and, and plug up and try to somehow overcome, uh, but I don't think it's anything that's necessarily in those guys control, you know, or our control. Uh, when you're talking about a guy, his size and strength, it is it is what it is. You know, you're probably not going to make that a whole lot better. Uh, when you talk about you're not having a lot of size in the front court, well, these guys are not going to grow and get any taller. You know, when you talk about a lack of depth in the back court, you know, we don't. I mean, we got those guys, so we're going to try to do the best job we can. I think they're all good players, but I think they're young and experienced, and they're going to need to continue to grow and get better. The um, the East doesn't get any easier. I mean, you know, when you look at when you look at the division and you talk about challenge, this could maybe even add to the challenge compared to two years ago because maybe the East is, is that much deeper. How do you, how do you view? Oh, I think our league is always the best league in the country and has been that way for a long time. I think you know, you know, Kentucky's going to be very good. Tennessee's going to be very good. I think when you look at Georgia and South Carolina, South Carolina had some transfers sitting out. Georgia obviously is a very very older team right now, uh, very good. You know, in the West, Mississippi State, Arkansas, Alabama. So yeah, I don't think there's any question. Uh, when you look at it, uh, none of those teams have lost what we've lost, and a lot of those teams have got good players coming back that have got a lot of experience in their belts. 